chipotle beef ready to make some tacos with it got all the goodies there nice chunks of meat big pieces of tender meat reeking of chipotle chili it's going to be fun to put together for us and our friends because they can just pick and choose whatever they want or, or don't want but it's going to be good and it looks really pretty too Today I'm working on a dish that I've been thinking about for a week or so and I'm going to call it chipotle beef. And what I've done is I've taken these large chunks of tri-tip that I've already smoked on the grill for a while and I floured them with a flour chipotle chili mixture that I did and then I uh, seared them in uh, bacon uh, drippings. They're looking and smelling really good and I have to admit I've snitched one and tasted it and it was, uh, it was pretty good. So my idea here, or the thought is, that these can be served, I'm usually going into the skillet here in just a minute, the Dutch oven, these can be served either as burritos, tacos, or just as a uh, thick stew. Now I'm going for the uh, burrito thing is what I'm looking for, tortillas and sour cream, cilantro, yada yada yada. And uh, it's all an experiment, haven't made it before, but so far it's tasting good and smelling good. We'll put it on the uh, Louisiana pellet grill for about eight hours and let it cook down until it gets just super tender. And we'll see. Eight hours might not be it. I might only do six. We'll see. All right, here we are. We're ready for the grill now. I've lit the grill. I've got a Louisiana wood pellet grill. I've set my temperature for 225. And I'm going to try and smoke this low. Well, I'm, I'm shooting for six to eight hours, but I'm going to have to watch it since it's all an experiment. There's no written recipe. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how it's going to turn out. So I have to check it every now and then, and see when I've either got too much or not enough cooking. But I went, as you can see, I sliced up three uh, three large tomatoes, just diced them up, and some sweet peppers, some jalapenos, and uh, some red peppers, red sweet peppers, and a couple of serranos and threw in there and then a can of uh, chipotle peppers and threw that in there a little garlic, a little onion and uh, then I covered it to uh, the top with uh, beef broth so we'll see what happens alright we're on the grill now I got the temperature set at 225 I'm going for a nice long smoke I'm using mesquite pellets and I'll leave this uncovered for a couple hours and come back and check it and see if I need to cover it and see how we're doing. I'm guessing, and that is a guess, we're going to go for about a six, six, seven, eight hour cook to get it you know, to the thickness and consistency I want for this. But it's smelling good already. Too bad you can't smell this. This just smells awesome. It's been in the smoke now for about four hours looking really good. I'm going to let it go for another hour or so. Uh, oh man, just it's a killer just to smell it. Good stir, getting ready to pull it here. It's looking good and smelling good. You can see all the smoke. Louisiana does a nice job as a smoker. Been on five hours at 225. This is tonight's dinner, or tomorrow night's dinner. This is tonight's dinner. Taters going along with the steaks. They're going to be good. And we know they're going to be good because the neighbors are starting to gather. All plated up. Chipotle beef. Ready to make some tacos with it. Got all the goodies there. Nice chunks of meat. Big pieces of tender meat. Reeking of chipotle chili. Here's our chipotle beef again, served wet burrito style this time. Looking good. Cheese and sauce and it's going to be good. <laughs>